Hey, what is up, guys? Advent Dragon here, bringing you another episode of my time in Porsche. My time in Porsche? I almost said my town. Not quite sure why. Um, in the last episode, we got the builder's permit and built our first furnace. And this episode, we are going to build the bridge. Right, so we're not actually going to build the bridge, we're going to go to the dungeon. Now, for you people who don't know where the dungeon is, it's literally just up, like, uh, follow the path to the church, which is to the left, as soon as you enter the town. It's that black hole in the mountain there. Yeah, let's get the pickaxe ready. It takes ages to find the right thing in this tunnel of hey there. doom. First time ruin diving? Yes. Well, no. Alrighty, let me explain then. All the ruins in the Alliance of Free Cities are regulated by the Civil Corps. To enter the ruins, you'll need to pay a maintenance fee. When you enter, I'll give you the jetpack and scanner. Very handy ancient relics. Mine in for resources becomes a lot easier when you have these equipped. This one beside me is an abandoned ruin. No monsters or robots in there, just resources and relics like power stones. Anything you find in the ruins are yours to keep. Unless they're ancient weapons. Then we're supposed to hand them over to the church for destruction. Okay, I'm done. Have fun and be safe in there. Okay, so I hope I find an ancient weapon, but I've never done that before. How much do I have to pay? 80 gold. I don't even have 80 gold? Oh my god, okay, so this episode's basically going to be farming for gold. Um, that's a thing. If I knew that before, Ander would have collected the gold. Before recording, but I forgot. So, how's about we go beat up some colourful llamas? Or we can sell some shit that I've gathered. What have we gathered? Not a lot of resources, so let's not do that. Hmm. Money. Best way to make money. I can spar with people, but I'm only a level 3, so I'll get my ass kicked. Uh. We can go kill some colourful llamas and crabs and stuff. Increase that level and that money, yo. Sell the fur for like 10 gold each, I think. Or 5. One of the two. Come here, llama, you little bitch. Wait, what? Oh, ah! Bit of a lag spike almost got me killed. Hello. <laughs> the combat in this game is pretty basic, but it's... It's fun. There's a lot of clicking involved, you can't just hold down the button. What do we get? Yep, it sells for 10. Colorful fur. Let's kill a few more llamas, and then we can enter the ruin. Should not have picked on a level 9. That was probably a bad idea on my half. Come on, llama. You're making me feel bad. Thank you. Um, you can also cook meat in this game and eat it to get your stamina back, but um, I'm not quite sure how to cook because you have to get salt for near enough every ingredient, like any recipe, and I don't know where you find salt. I'm guessing it's in the mines or from killing mobs later on in the game, but I'm not quite sure if any of the mobs drop it in this area. I'm guessing not, otherwise I would have found it by now. I didn't even see that, there's a bush in the way. Colourful bitch. It shit itself and I picked it up. Great. Pretty sure you can use that for farming. We can grow crops. But uh, that's the boring way of getting money. It's probably a lot faster. I should look into it next time. Oh crap. I angered the squad. Whoop. That just means double loot. I am scared. Yo, bitch. Oh, it does take one stamina every time you punch um, an animal, which I guess is only fair. <laughs> I'm being... Um... It's payment for killing the fluffy llamas, I guess. Yep. Bish, you ain't touching me. I got them black desert skills, yo. Fuck space. Can't say I've ever gathered in the game, but there you go. Let's head back to the town and sell what we've got. 
Do do do. Only bad thing about this game that I've found so far is the traveling takes way too long. And that shop's never open. Is that just not in the game yet? The barber shop needs to be a thing. Trust me. I, I like changing my hair like every five seconds in a game. Um. Pretty sure you sell the wool here. All of them. Can I sell meat? Oh, I can sell everything. I'm selling everything. Whatever I just got from Gavrin, it's, it's gone. I don't even care. Take it all. Take everything I own. Let's go. I think they've updated uh, the game to a certain extent then, because some things you couldn't sell to certain vendors, and I kind of liked that idea. But apparently now it's just fair game. Anything goes. Oh wait, we need the wood. We need the wood so we can repair the house. Okay. Well, considering I've spent half the episode grinding for cash, we might as well just carry on with that. And I will go to the mine next time. We can always see what else we need for the bridge. I'm pretty sure it's just copper and minerals though, so... Let's have a try. Let's have a look. We also need to put this plaque in the house because it increases uh, max stamina, I believe. Max health, max stamina, something. Um, repair the floors too. How much does this one take? I've got 45, that's 20. Yes. Okay, how much is... That's 10, so there's 30, I've got 15 left. All gaps have been fixed, really. Oh, sweet. Okay, we are gonna put this here. Ta-da! Uh, we don't need to sleep yet, we've got some stamina. We've got some stamina to burn. Let's go collect some resources or some shit. Get the axe out. We need more wood. Wait. So, what do we need for this bridge head? Let's have a look. Okay, so the head and the body. Uh, hardwood planks. And hardwood, so I need a better axe. Um, so, before we do that... I'm going to need a civil cutter because of the planks, I believe. So that's copper black. Oh my god. Oh damn. Okay, let's just go down. Okay, so I'm just the grinder. Copper bars. Uh, two old parts. Grinding stone. You know what? Let's just make a grinder first. We're gonna need to. Okay, so we need to go mining. Holy crap. Okay, right. We'll just gather some wood for this episode. Um, make sure we have enough stock to get some stone. And in the next one, we'll be going into the dungeon. The little abandoned room place. So I don't want to rush this game. There's, there's no need to rush it. I'd rather get it all done. Um, I don't want to feel like I have to rush every game I play. That's it. That's the words I was looking for. Jesus. Hmm. Okay, how much have we got now? 65 wood. Not to mention all this wood comes in handy later because you need like a ton of it for fuel. Um, I haven't found a better resource for fuel yet. I don't know if there's coal, but I've never found it. So... I've just been burning stacks. I've been killing trees like it's nothing. Oh, we're at stamina. Okay. We are out of the stamps. Can we make? Yes, we can. Can I like Bob the Builder? Okay. Okay, so eight. I'm going to put you there. We're going to put all the stuff that we don't need in the chest. Or all, all the stuff that we are storing, because we need them later. Okay, so I slept through the night so we got some more stamina. Let's go gather some more resources. Um, I don't really want to be um, going into the mine yet, anyway. Pretty much most of the things that we can gather that we need for the rest of the bridge construction, we can get from the rocks around town. Uh, we do need more money, because after you've um, paid for the first week, the next week you have to pay even more, which kind of sucks. So the first time it's 80, oh, look, there we go, that's what I mean, leveling. Also, 
I noticed I have not added a single perk point. So what we're going to do is... Uh, toughness, per peril, increases your max stamina. So that increases your health. I don't need to increase health. Anyone that plays basic PvP games will never be touched in this game unless they get you on like a little bit of a glitch hit which is when you combat roll out the way and apparently your character's physical form is still in front of the colourful armour and it touches you. Uh, basically the combat in this game is pretty straightforward so you don't really you don't really need to focus on that at all. Um, experience gained 5% we're gonna put it all on this because early game that's the kind of perks that you need and you can only have, hang on, let me expand this. You can only have a certain amount of perks on each row. So, if I choose all five on these, I cannot choose evasive or dash. Now, dash and evasive I don't need. I like to get perk points, and I like to get them quick. So, intensive training is the way that I like to go about it. For other people, it may be different. Um, I suggest evening all the skills out along the board. So, if you only got five, put two, two, and one. So... I'd say put one on evasive mainly because, I mean, you know, you don't need to dodge that many times. You can just sprint around them or walk around them. They are that slow. Look, I'll, I'll prove it. I'm going to punch this llama in the ass or in the face. Punched. It's going to move out of the way. You know, yeah, cool. I'm going to punch it again. It's, it's going to move out of the way. Don't need to combat roll, but combat rolling is fun, so. You know, it's pretty simple. Oh, it's some some people like the element of having an even date skill board, I guess. The only thing that you will get touched on in this is the sparring, and that's because the lag is unreal. If you spar with someone and you're behind them, apparently they can still critical hit you. Like, they're behind you but some shit, but they're not. It's buggy. Then again, this is an early access game, so that'll be fixed. I'm guessing so. Um, it's been out for a while. Uh, that normally means the developers have given up, or it means that they've got a lot more ideas for the game. So, don't lose hope. Give it another year at least. Uh, I can spend a year killing llamas, I ain't bothered. It does make me feel like a terrible human being for doing it. They are pretty cute. Oh, see, it hit me and I tried to combat roll. So, maybe you do want to put one point on evasive or just gain more stamina. I mean, the more stamina you've got, the more this little circle in the screen has. So it increases your sprinting and your evasive doesn't take as much. Yeah. Right. We've run out of llamas? Shit. Guess we can just sell some more things at the shop and that'll be done. That is that is all. That will be this episode completely wrapped up. I'm kind of upset I didn't get to go in the dungeon, but next time we'll go straight there. Straight in the dungeon. Because I need all the old parts I can find. And it's always good to go in there with max stamina. It does take a lot of stam stam to, uh, you know, stay in there for long periods of time. Can I sell this? Can indeed. Should really be keeping these furs. They're pretty useful. Okay. We do not need the food. We do not need the food. Come on. Alright. Okay, we, we technically back home at this point. So, I'm going to end this episode here. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button. If you have to say about it, drop it in the comments below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.